Hi guys, and welcome to another exciting episode of Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. This is a very special episode where instead of uh, doing commentary as I'm playing the game, I'm actually doing a little bit of post-commentary over my gameplay. Uh, the audio for the gameplay and for the webcam were lost, so hopefully this isn't too weird. I'm very excited here in this part because of the uh, sound effects that are happening, so that's unfortunate. Uh, it's just like whenever you're opening a chest or something in The Legend of Zelda, like it does the whole build up, except for at the end, it doesn't go da 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 da, it goes da 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 da. So that's pretty much what happened and what I got really excited about up there in the webcam. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some things that are going to be going on coming up soon because I now have a medium for talking about it without having to make like a new video and I'm not I promise you that in this video I'm really not saying much of anything that's important I'm mostly just saying what I'm doing so to catch you up I'm going to Wildwoods to give the guy the spoon so that he'll make the ham Um. But in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be moving, and I'm hoping it won't affect my upload schedule, but in anticipation of the moving, I tried to make some videos in advance of Ham Ham Heartbreak to upload every Monday, scheduled uploads. But the thing is, all of the recording that I did ended up like this. It doesn't have any audio on it at all, and I can't find a way to restore it. Uh, so, that's like an hour and a half of footage, but a lot of it is going to be cut out, and they're going to be commentary style videos just like this, so I hope everyone's really excited for that. Uh, and then hopefully after those, there's only three that I was going to make, uh, that I made that day. Hopefully, I can solve the problem within the next few weeks, and all of the videos can be made and I can actually finish the game. Uh, I will try to upload all of these weird commentary ones more close together and try to get back to regular episodes as soon as I can uh, because I know this is weird and it's just not really... Uh, well, there we go, saved another love, woo! That's probably what I was saying there. I actually just did the same motion without even thinking about it. Uh, but I know that these are weird and uh, it's probably not very fun to just hear me talking without really like any sounds coming from the game or anything. <laughs> so I'm really, I apologize. I apologize for whatever this is. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're doing now. I know that I have to use the hamapult at Spat Castle, but that's not yet. Spoilers, I know. Oh, this guy. Bog and his monkey friend are in a bit of a fit because uh, the monkey is sick. So uh, it's kind of our fault. We made the monkey sick because apparently the bananas we gave him were bad. Which, if I recall correctly, I mentioned whenever I was uh, giving them to him. Or at least I thought it. I was like, those bananas look kind of gross. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Is there another one? No? Okay. Um, so that's something interesting. Good continuity, good job game in making the nasty bananas actually a plot point later on in the game. So, uh, one thing that I, I don't, I don't know about this game is what, where did Bog, like, how did he become such a forest Tarzan hamster when obviously the other people in the forest are pretty civilized like yeah there's that 
wedding ceremony and like they seem kind of tribal but it's not like they're stupid or anything but bog he just like can't up he straight up can't speak english okay so this part is crazy it's the bad parakeet gang okay we gotta take them down to get that fruit and it freak it's freaking awesome i love the bad parakeet gang taking them down Bad Parakeet Gang is probably my second favorite, uh, I guess I'll call it a set of characters instead of a character, because they're not all one, but, uh, no one will ever beat the Bullseye Kid for me, and I'm actually, I don't have any fan art drawn in the Bullseye Kid yet, but believe you me, it's gonna happen. He is going to be drawn by me. I'm gonna draw him. And he's going to be with me, and we're going to be best buddies. It's going to be great, I think. He's cured, Key. So, we... Oh my gosh, they're mighty. That's really, really... Do I do the motion for this? Because I can almost guarantee... Yep. Yep, here I go. Uh, jeez, I hate myself. Okay, so after that cringe-worthy moment, another love is saved by Dingbat and Weenus. Uh, two in one episode. It's gotta be some kind of a record, I feel like. But, uh, who knows? It's probably because I'm following a walkthrough. Did that just say that love crosses all boundaries, even species? Because I might have a beef with that. I might have beef with that statement. But I I digress and I will leave it there. Bananas. Oh, he's mad about the bananas that we gave him, even though we healed him. Rightly so. Even though we healed him, like it was our fault in the first place. So I'm on the monkey side. Dingbat and Weenus are menaces to society, to the ham society. Where am I going? The clubhouse? Oh, there's Harmony. She's telling me that Spat is at Spat Tower. And I think here I am commenting on how obvious it is that the place is called Spat Tower and that's where he went. And I was also, I think, very shocked that he built this whole, like, it's kind of more developed than the other areas. Like, it's a whole castle with a drawbridge and stuff. And it's kind of like, where did Spat get the budget to build this sort of thing and people didn't know who he was? Like, when people meet Spat, they're like, oh, it's this weird hamster. He's this new character. Who is this guy? But it's like he has a giant freaking castle called spat tower and you're telling me you don't know who this guy is like that doesn't seem likely to me and uh for this part of the game you're supposed to use like as many ham chats as you can and then eventually they'll be like we need to do something to get across that's not what we're doing So, a uh, lot of ham chats in a row. If only we could fly through the air. That's the hint. So, it's back to Wildwoods for us. To get the hamabolt that we helped build with the Master Spoon. Oh, I don't know what that was. Ham ha, give us your master spoon. You can use it whenever you wish. Is that what you're here for? Yes, that's what we are here for. We are only using you for your inventions. At the tower, here we go. Hamapult! Uh, give it a little push, would ya? There, it's all ready to move out. That seems like a really inefficient way. How did they... They got it all the way here. With him tack-queuing it. Anyway. 
With this baby sailing over this river and into the tower will be as easy as algebra. As for me, my wife's waiting, so I'll leave you here. So we're getting on the Hamapult. We're about ready to go. And, uh... I think that with that, we're going to end this episode of Ham Ham Heartbreak. But I'm not really sure when I'm going to start talking about wrapping it up. So if you like this video, like this video. You can subscribe to my channel to see more. I make new Hamtaro videos every single Monday whenever there's not a technical difficulty or I forget. I'm really ready to be done with this game as you can probably tell by the pained expression on my face. I promise you there are only two more episodes of this really weird in-post commentary and there's probably some random music playing in the background and I'm really sorry about everything that's happening. Um, eventually I'm gonna shut up in this video and say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around.